big year for Windowfilm Magazine, as 2017 marks our 20th anniversary. I'm Katherine Koig, editor of Windowfilm Magazine, and for this special edition of Filmed, we're taking a look at the magazine's beginning. When the first issue of Windowfilm Magazine debuted in 1997, it was a small journal-sized issue before it expanded the following year to the full size it is today. Windowfilm Magazine has always been focused on reporting the latest news, information, and analysis about the industry. Windowfilmmag.com also launched in 97, expanding the magazine's presence to reach a broader audience. Windowfilm Magazine's role in the industry evolved in March of 2000, with the first International Windowfilm Conference held at the Riviera in Las Vegas. The event soon expanded in 2002 to include the Tindoff competitions. And as WFCT has grown, so has Windowfilm Magazine, with the addition of the film video newscast. Both the magazine and its video series have been honored with numerous prestigious awards over the years. And Window Film keeps growing. In 2014, we established the Window Film Hall of Fame, honoring important figures in the industry. We also launched PPF Mag, Window Film Supplement about pay protection films, due to a high demand from readers. Window Film Magazine has done a lot of big things over the past 20 years, and we're excited to see what the next 20 have in store for us and for the industry. After a short break, we'll be back to speak with the founder of Window Film Magazine. Welcome to West Palm Beach, Florida, the home of the 2017 International Window Film Conference in Tinoff, held October 4th through 6th. The West Palm Beach Marriott will be your host hotel. Make sure you book your room early to take advantage of the discounted show rate. WFCT 2017 is a can't miss event. We'll see you there. Welcome back. Now to the lady who made it all possible, Deb Levy, the magazine's founder and publisher. Deb, going back to 1997, what led you to the idea of founding Windowfill Magazine? Well, I think it's just always in a publisher's DNA to be looking for areas that are underserved. So typically any type of thing I would learn about, I would always think, is there a magazine for that? And through our work with all of our glass publications, I became very familiar with this new and relatively new and exciting material that was just gaining more and more problems prominence and started to look around and say, hey, there's really no magazine for window film and wouldn't be neat if there was. And, and then there was. So window film in the industry have changed a lot since the magazine's first issue. Are there any significant moments that stand out to you most? Uh, yes, I think uh, its recognition by the NFRC was pretty significant for film as a whole. I think the industry's look at um, some of the work that it's done in terms of uh, legislation was important and, and I think personally what I, I've enjoyed the most is helping to get the International Window Film Conference and Tint Off going and watching all the tinters as they compete. That's just the neatest thing. Uh, it's, it's really enjoyable to see people at the pinnacle of their co career competing to show they're the best. It's very exciting. So when you launched the Window Film Magazine 20 years ago, did you think you'd be sitting here 20 years later? <laughs> Uh, I wasn't sure. I was hoping, but I wasn't sure. So, Well, thank you for joining us, Deb. In other news, the film crew recently had the opportunity to attend the DC Auto Show, and Raps made quite an impressive appearance. We'll leave you with footage of a few of our favorites. I'm Katherine Koig. Thanks for watching. <laughs>